with the abandoned building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until closing the dock. In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, I'm being held against my will. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. That glowing review in Real Hotels Magazine was a fake luring you here to fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. But surviving is different than thriving. I saw that on a Target pillow once. Alright, first question. What is the rooster's dance to gain favor with the females called? Use your device to answer the question. That means the audience too. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Put on the do disturb sign. We're at room 101. Thanks! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Okay! Let the games begin! Pick a spot to drop from! I'm sure everything will work out for you! It's so hard to predict what will happen! Well, now I hate this game! Moving on! Who will win? Who will die? Maybe the audience! Hey audience, I hope you all die too! Hot tip, you can join the audience at any time! Let's keep moving! What dish could be found at a Hungarian Vietnamese fusion restaurant? Who picked this? Ah, oh, crap. Let's try another one. What type of bridge is the current London Bridge? This. The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to room 237. Oh, you're going to get a gift. One person's family heirloom is another person's punishment. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Beware the one with the prettiest paper. Ah, crap. It's my dad's old hat. Huh, this is weird. On one level, I know you're not really my dad. But at the same time, I'm filled with rage, and this is not gonna go well for you overall. After I ran away from home to pursue my dream of being a game show host, I promised myself I'd never come back. But here I am. You know what? This will make a great chapter in my eventual memoir. Let me write it down. Let's keep moving. Yin and Yang are symbols central to which religion? Oh. 
Who picked this? But I refuse to acknowledge a reality where you're right, father. Time for consequences. It's loser wheel time! Spin it! It's fun! Oh. Spin, you magnificent wheel! Well, the loser wheel's gonna loser wheel, you know? Ah! I'll kill you yet, father! Your death doesn't mean that hat has to leave the game. There's a wheel on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to bequeath it to another player. But you gotta do it fast. Don't worry. You're a ghost now. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Don't worry. When a player holding one of my family heirlooms dies, they can fill out a will. They left a cherished possession to you. It's your problem now. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What was born out of Justin.TV? only you. And it's like totally my dad. I want to show you something. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. Oh hey look, the ghost of my Aunt Mildred is writing on this mirror. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Let the drawing begin! Pay attention to the words as they appear, and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from! Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. Death is a good time to check your controller and quickly update your will. Another will has been discovered. The family burden has been dumped on... you! Let's try another one. In Ghostbusters, Rick Moranis is which of the following? This. The rest of you who are still alive. And most delightful of all, my father. Follow me. I'm giving you all scratch tickets. What a quirky last minute gift. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. 
Start scratching. You could win some money with extra scratches. The contest is almost over. Didn't want to risk it? How boring. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. Let's keep moving. What does it mean if a statue is Calipigian? Who picked this? You seem to have made an error, Father. Come with me. It's time for donations. You all get $500. Give some of that money to another player. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But if you give to someone and they have a thousand dollars or more, I will kill you instead. Begin. Time to check the receipts. You are the richest, and you are the deadest. Let's try another one. Sure, I torture people and all, but my worst attribute is that I'm a whiskey snob. In order to be legally called bourbon, how must whiskey be aged? Who picked? This. Only a ghost got it wrong. But I refuse to acknowledge a reality where you're right, father. Time for consequences. Now we learn obedience. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! This game is really good for your cognitive skills. You know, if you survive. Almost out of rules time! Rules out for summer! You lose! I don't know if it's legal to fill out your will after you die, but if you're fast enough, I'll accept it. I found another will! Let's keep moving. 
According to the Bible, who lived to be 969 years old? 969. Nice. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Let's play a dice game. Don't worry, this one's real straightforward. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want. I guess it doesn't help to tell you that less is more? Roll the dice. The player with the highest total dies. We knew how this would turn out, but it was still fun to watch. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive! But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Roll doll books. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping! Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute! If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Leap years. Let's just call that a fluke. Queen Zombs. Yikes, there's a g, g g ghost right behind you! Don't look behind you! It's only darkness. Operas. Time is almost up. You cannot run that ghost forever. Acronyms. Mm. You stole some yummy life force. 
My next Punachella movie is... Time is almost up! Not over yet. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need to ace this next question. And if you're still alive and want to break through, you have to get all three answer choices right. This one's a nail biter! Beetle songs! You have to get all the right answers to escape! Another life force swap! Bottom row of the party keyboard! Time is almost up! 